Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly update. This is the freshwater version. Got a couple things to discuss with you before we start uh, showing the fish and all the new stuff that came in this week. The biggest of which is the giveaway for February. We have never done anything like this and what I have wanted to do this entire time is involve everyone that watches us on YouTube and all the subscribers. So here's the deal. We will give away a $300 gift certificate to your favorite mom and pop brick and mortar aquarium shop uh, anywhere you are. So if you're in Texas or you're in New York or you're in LA, wherever you are watching us, all you've got to do is go to our website and I'm going to tell you what to do at the end of the video and how to do things. But we're going to make it such that you can just by watching the video every week, you can get an entry once a week for the next four weeks. Uh, we will have the drawing on February the 29th. No, we'll probably do it March the 1st. We'll let everybody go up until 6 p.m. on February. And so no matter where you are, just for watching, we'll call the store, get your gift certificate. If you're local, you can, obviously you can get a fishy business gift certificate. Even if there's another store in Columbia, you would rather do. Uh, what we want to do is involve everybody and hopefully get you guys watching and a way to participate and bring you guys closer to us, us closer to you. So having said all that, I'll explain everything at the end of the video and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, before we get to the fish, I want to introduce you to Frank, our Sarah rep, who actually is where we get one of the biggest product lines that we stock. And he wanted to talk to you guys about vitamins. So that's coming up real quick, and then we'll get to the fish. Hi guys, my name is Frank. I work for Sarah. I wanted to suggest using a liquid vitamin for feeding uh, fish. Uh, so your frozen food, which is widely used generally, has a very small percentage of protein in there, but it almost has uh, no vitamins whatsoever. So uh, our recommendation is to actually take a few drops of these and add it to a frozen food and supplement uh, their diet by using the liquid vitamin and you'll see long-term benefits in terms of color and digestibility. Your frozen food generally contains a very high percentage of uh, water, moisture, uh, and this will actually replenish all the vitamins which are missing in frozen food. You, you can also use this on a flake or a pellet. Um, and uh, it's very stable in the water. Uh, it has stabilized vitamin C, so the ingredients won't leach out into the water, and it's not light sensitive. So, you know, your vitamins will actually maintain uh, within the structure of the food. So, that's the product. It's called Fish to Me. Thank you. Okay, so we got in the new AI Primes. This is for a freshwater planted tank. This is a great little spotlight that will do all the lighting capabilities that any of your live plants need. Not a lot of these, but these are great. You can retrofit them in a bio cube. You can retrofit them in just about any type of canopy that we have. Uh, one, I think, does about two feet. So this is a great way and an inexpensive way to get any kind of light that you need on any kind of live plant you want to keep. Okay, so this wall right here today is coming down. Uh, and as you can hear, the uh, sounds of destruction are on the way here at Fishy Business. So all of this space we're getting ready to open up and double the size of the store. We've been talking about this for, I don't know, how long? Like six months, eight months, something like that. Connor, do you remember? It's been about years. So that's getting ready to happen. But the question is, do you guys want to see it? Do you guys want to watch the process and see what happens? Uh, would you want a separate video? Uh, of just kind of watching how this process happens and what happens during the whole thing. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you would. Let's go with that. Uh, and now on to the update. Okay, so we're going to start freshwater fish right now. And we're going to start actually with the goldfish. We've got koi in, and I know it's a little early, but uh, Kat is going to start bringing them in very slowly so we get the best fix. Uh, and we'll start right there. Okay. So, extra large uh, pond comets, sarasa comets, shibunkins, and the small koi you can see. Right down here are assorted arandas. We've got assorted telescopes, bronze fantails, red cap arandas. Moving right along to the normal fantails. Young, young rayukins. There's some really great color morphs of these in this week. And some more pom pom. In the next section, we have the medium telescopes. Couple large arandas, some extra large rayukins, large lion heads, some assorted small lion heads, the large black moors, really beautiful this week. 
Uh, a couple extra large Riancans, a large Aranda as well. Large pearl scales in this, check out the pearls on that guy. Large lion heads, and last but not least, some more large lion heads. So that rounds out our goldfish for this week and what we have in stock. Now, these are some pretty stunning small peacocks. They might be, and I know I say it a lot, but these may be the most stunning for their size small peacocks we have had, God, in two years. The colors on these fish are incredible for the size and the price. Man, these are the prettiest Africans I have in stock. Flame Trophius came in this week. Uh, if you're if you're an African cichlid collector, uh, Trophius are, have got to be at your, the top of the list. There's so many beautiful varieties of this particular type of fish, and the Flame Trophius, these are the first ones I've had this year. Okay, check out these. Small to medium discus came in this week. This one right here, actually the largest of the group, has a really cool pattern almost of leopard spots on its body, but really nice color there. New discus are in this week. Okay, a lot of people have been asking us to get in these red points. These are Honduran red points. This is a short body convict cyclic. Uh, so South American, Central American varieties, but really beautiful with the blue, highlighted blue right around the gill plate. Uh, very cool. Okay, so we got in this dwarf catfish. This is a stone catfish that you see right here. This is a very, very small, I don't think they get over an inch, maybe an inch and a half at full growth. You can see there's a couple of them together. Uh, but a fish that we haven't had before, so very cool for your nano tank. Also, I got in these, which are absolutely gorgeous. Cat says they're the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. These are honeycomb catfish. And they move really quick and do not like Chuck's hand in the water. However, man, they're like little little jaguars. Uh, another very, very small nano possibility for a catfish. Very, very beautiful. Just absolutely adorable catfish. If you need some algae cleaned, buy a really, really cool type of algae eater. Maybe the Farawella is right for you. These are very young right now. Small, and we know they get very long and large. Uh, but really, really, really cool. And speaking of farewellas, how about a royal farewella? These don't come around every week, and what a statement maker they are. It's a type of algae eater. Very, very cool fish if you've got a little bit larger aquarium. I'd say anything 55 gallons or larger. Beautifully patterned, almost look like they have a type of alligator or inverted snake skin on the back. Uh, really high dorsal fin, sharp nose, lots of beauty in this type of fish. Green phantom plecos came in this week, as well as you can see right below it, the uh, galaxy pleco. And we have a shovel nose cat that's in the box so it doesn't eat anybody. If you got a lot of running room, this might be a really cool fish for you. This is a beautiful pleco. This is the blue panak pleco. Uh, both the pectoral fins, the dorsal fin, and the caudal fins have this shimmer of blue towards the end. Um, even the mouth of this particular pleco is beautiful. It is a beautiful collectible pleco and with the blue sheen, especially if you had a green phantom in the tank too, man would these make two wonderful bookend type plecos. Gorgeous pleco and uh, come see it. Okay, so small, small royal plecos also came in this week. These guys haven't quite gotten their color up yet, but it's coming really, really cool, and the fact that they're small. Very beautiful diamond tetras came in this week. Uh, these are a little bit larger than most of the diamonds that we typically get, and if you look at the fins, very well pronounced fins on these guys. Uh, they've, uh, they've already fully developed, so you've got a lot of really Really nice fin work, they're beautiful fish, uh, very beautiful in a planet tank. Okay, beautiful betas came in this week, so you definitely want to pay attention if you have that singular tank where you want that singular fish, and or maybe you just want some pop in a community tank where you think the betas would be safe. Definitely take a stop by the betas and check out the very types that we got in this week, because there are a lot of beautiful colors, beautiful fin work on these fish, and a lot of different varieties. Without introducing every single type that we got in this week, I do want to show you Ryan's collection of live plants. 
We got in a bunch, and I'm just gonna let you take a look at it while the music plays. Okay, so that almost concludes the Freshwater Weekly update. Now I'm gonna tell you how to win the $300 gift certificate to your favorite mom and pop brick and mortar shop, wherever you are. Uh, go to our website, first thing, number one, fishybusinesssc.com. Second thing is click on the contest. Uh, then you're gonna be instructed to answer the question. The question that you're gonna answer is, what catfish that moved really fast, that's really small, did I just show in this video? Answer the question. You'll immediately be win entered to win uh, the competition, and we will do have a different question every single week for the next, well, until the end of February, and we will draw the winner's name on March the 1st. So, $300 gift certificate, anyone watching on YouTube, subscribing to our channel, and hopefully this kicks up a way for us to involve you, you involve us a little more. And let me know if you want to see the teardown and the construction of the opening of the store. So. Have a great week, God bless, and I'll see you next week.